Welcome back, Legendary Potato here, and today I'm going to be going through the new update for Universal Minecraft Editor, because this update brought out so many new quick mods, and so I'm going to be showing you guys a bunch of those in today's video. So here's all the quick mods that's going to be affected in the video here, everything behind here in, well, in the screen here, uh, everything can be changed using quick mods. So everything from entities, tile entities, and a bunch of crazy stuff, so makes life a little bit easier for if you're editing any of these things, which of course it's some point you probably will. With that said, let's get started. So each of these are really simple. All you gotta do is right click and then it'll give you some sort of new option. For example, pig gives you saddle, iron golems give you the attack option of attacking players or not, sheep allow you to change the wool and if they're sheared or not, so in this case I can just change the color to whatever I'd like of course, so I change it to red and I'll change it to sheared as well, why not? Shulkers, you can change the color of as well. So, as you can see here, it gives you all the options to change the colors and as well a visual representation of what they look like, just for reference. Same with the dogs as well, change the colors. There's lots of color customization, so you can easily do that without having to do it in game. Bed colors can also be changed, and since beds are technically two tile entities right next to each other, I think one of them actually overwrites the other one, so just kind of keep that in mind, of course. So in that case, I just changed it to two different colors, but I'm sure one of them just overwrites the other one. Ocelots, you can change the type of ocelot. So as you can see, there's the different types there, and you can see the visual as well, so you can know which one you're doing. Parrots, you can change the parrot type as well to whatever color you'd like. Bunnies, you can change the bunny type as well, or rabbit, whichever one you like to call it. But I really like the options you get of being able to change these. You can do the same with the boats, change whatever type of boat you want. But with these options, it just makes it easier than having to change it in game. You can just do it really quick. That one you can change the profession. Slime sizes, which I think this one's actually really useful to do this one quickly. So there you go, you can change the size to whatever you'd like, of course. You can also change the entity properties. So for this example, I have an armor stand and I can change all of these properties here. You can change what the Enderman is holding in his inventory to any block in the game as long as it doesn't crash. You can change the block that's inside of a minecart as well. Gives you the option to do offsets and stuff like that, so if you want to make the block higher or lower or some other uh, thing like that, you can change how it looks. Item frame drop chance. So this could be used to make uh, lucky blocks. So if you just have a bunch of item frames with a percent chance, then you get the option of doing something like that. So I changed the diamond percent to 75. You can change which direction the ender crystal goes or the beam target. As well as that, you can change the bedrock bottom. You can also do end gateways a lot easier now without having to add the tags in manually, which for me is really helpful. So you can change the destination right here, as well as create the exact teleport tag. You can also change the gas explosion power, but it also gives you a warning in case it could potentially crash if it's too high. You can change the creeper explosion radius, delay, and properties about it either being a charge creeper or an ignited creeper. Falling sand, you can change to any other block in the game and it'll be a falling block of that type, which is just cool if you want to have some sort of block that just kind of falls, sort of like how sand does. You can change the color of the armor right inside the tool. So as you can see here, it gives you a complete color customization thing so that you can change it to any color or shade you like. 
So I think this is really neat so you don't have to do it in game. You can just pick the color right here without having to worry too much. So very useful there. You can also edit banners. So right through here, it gives you this cool tool so they can go ahead and customize them as you like, as you would in game without having to grab the items in creative mode and do it yourself. So considerably more helpful than doing it in game, I'd say. So if you want to customize banners without having to do it in game, this might actually be a great option for you. Gives you all the options that you can do with the banner normally in game and just kind of makes it more simple. And spawners. And they give you all these options here, so you can do whatever you'd like with them. Uh, customize the spawn count, spawn range, player range, max nearby, min delay, max delay, and delay. So, so many options you can change with spawners, of course, since there's so many variables that go into them, since they're such a uh, complicated block, of course. Uh, but you can customize that really easily. And that about covers it for most of them. There's a few I had to leave out, like the Snow Golem, for example, uh, just because I couldn't get a Snow Golem actually in this world without it dying. But you do get the idea, of course. And there's a few others that I missed out on just because they're a little bit more complicated. I'll plan to make videos like those uh, more in the future, more in depth about those because they're a little bit more complicated. Uh, so I'll probably do separate videos for those. But hopefully you guys did enjoy the video, of course. If you did, be sure to leave a like on it. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time.